Today we're taking a look at introducing our first piece of software, getting us just a little bit familiar with what it's going to look like, how we can get set up in Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is going to be our workhorse program for us for our two-dimensional design and even into some of our three-dimensional design as well. So we want to have a good idea of how we can get going into this, how we can get set up, and what it should look like when we're ready to get started. So we want to start off and pick a new file. Now on this page we can title our document right away if we need to. It tells us how many artboards we're going to have, which is our basically pages. But the most important thing right now for us are two things, our width and height. We want to set these in this page. We can do it later, but it's easiest to do it right now when they give us this option. And if we're using the laser engraver, we want to set that generally to the size of the bed of the laser engraver, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on why we want to do that. With the vinyl cutter, it's not going to be quite so important. We just want to make sure that it's not going to be smaller or bigger than what our piece of vinyl is going to be, and that if it is, then our diagram is still going to fit within what the size of the vinyl is going to be. So right now 8 and a half, 11 is fine. Units are inches, that's good. It's going to start off with some different units here. Points is probably what's going to be set in initially. We're going to want to change that and we're going to want to change that in our preferences to make sure that's always in inches for us. Otherwise it's going to be a little confusing. Our diagrams aren't going to look out the way that they should. Okay. So as we take a look, I hit new and there's my document. Hey, I can hit document, then I can look at for document setup as a couple of different ideas. Uh, in this particular version, we have a document setup tab right here on my open window on my menu bar. Otherwise, I can go to file, document setup. And what that's going to do for us is a couple of things. It's going to give us that same page we got when we initially opened the file, uh, where we can set some different ideas here, especially units. Make sure that says inches. If we check, click on the type, we just have some different ideas here about where that we can change in terms of preferences in our text and our pictures. Okay, but right now that looks good in terms of our setup. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need to do is this: all we have is a blank piece of paper. We don't know where anything is on this piece of paper, so this is where we want to go to view up on our menu bar, top menu bar, and we're going to go down to rulers and show rulers. Now I notice on the vertical and horizontal axes we have our rulers and we have starting points to tell us where we are in a paper. Also, that's very helpful for us, is you want to go view again down to show grid. And what that does is that gives us our grid menu for what we're trying to find. Okay, we have grids, we can divide our page up a little bit easier and see where things are in relation to other things. Now to make it easier, if we can slide up and down, and it moves our page, notice this is an unlimited grid for the most part, or I can go left and right, if you have a mouse wheel, then you can use the, sh the control button or the command button to, to slide that back and right as you roll the wheel up or down. Now in this case, our document is set at a corner of our document is set at 0, 0. If I set a different dimension for my document, 18 by 24, 36 by 24, then that might not be at 0, 0. So in order to get 0, 0 on the edge of our document or any point in the document where we want to be, in between our rulers where 0 comes here and 0 comes up, there's a little box here. Click that box and hold, and hold down the, your key, that changes to an arrow. Slide that to wherever you want your zero to be, whether it's at this point or let's say it's at this point. Now zero, zero is at this point on your paper. That's going to be your origin point. Uh, and you can change it at any point that you want by just moving that little dot. Okay. Tools that are important to begin with for today are your select tool, which is the arrow, the selection tool here. That lets you select and change points. And the pen and line tools. Pen and line tools let you draw lines, let you draw arcs. Uh, once we have imported a file or we've opened a file, I'm going to open, I'm going to go see if I can find one on my desktop. If I have one. If not, I will go to a different place. So I found a file that I wanted to open or I can import a picture. We can import pictures, we can import lots of different documents into Adobe Illustrator. And again, if I use my select tool, this is what's going to let me allow me to select various pieces. So I've highlighted and selected this and everything is selected. Or I can select just particular pieces of my object and by using that tool. 
And what we're going to be able to do with that as we move on from today is to use that tool to select objects and change their properties to let us be able to do vinyl cutting, to cut out lines, to raster into acrylic or into wood on the laser engraver. Okay, and that is today's lesson.